Hey everybody, this is your friend ECW fan, the collector. And it's time for another Pawn Shop Pickups, which I think a lot of people's really starting to enjoy. I mean, I've seen some, you know, a lot of people start really, you know, for my channel, which is small and I'm like a cult hit, you know, I get little viewership, but you know, the cult, the cult of ECW. Yeah. The pawn shop pickups are some of my favorite things to do, and the last two weeks I have really nailed some great movies, and I've got some more at home, and I got a video game I'm going to show you. But before work, the last two weeks, I've stopped into me and Eddie's favorite pawn shop, and it's been rocking, baby. It's been rocking. So I'm going to go ahead and show off. It's got a little bit of everything. Comedy, action, horror. So let's go ahead and let's get this started. I got the two movie collection of the Apple Dumpling Gang. I don't know if anybody remembers those movies from the 70s with Don Knotts and uh, I think Tim Conway. These are pretty awesome. These are pretty awesome movies. 70s, nice, clean comedies. And uh, I've got the both the Apple Dumpling Gang and the Apple Dumpling Gang rides again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now... Two of the things I've been wanting to get, and this is this is just me, is I want to get all the Charlie Brown specials, the animated specials that come out, and maybe the series eventually, because I, I grew up on these specials, and there's one movie I'm surprised I didn't even know existed, but the pawn shop has been, you know, getting these in, and two of these is two, one of these is a classic, but I've been wanting to get these. I think there was 20 some of these specials made, I believe, like Bond Voyage, Charlie Brown, and the little, uh, it's a, your Valentine Charlie Brown, stuff like that. So two of these I got, it's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown with, you know, the classic with Linus and Charlie Brown and Snoopy. And I got, I want a dog for Christmas, Charlie Brown. And I really don't remember this one. <laughs> I've watched some of, a lot of these when I was growing up as a kid. And I really want to get these because it brings back the kid feeling. And uh, I saw one in Walmart, like a big set. And I think it's volume one of a set. It was wanting twenty some dollars But there's no way I'm paying that much for it. I'm going to pay what I normally would pay for each, you know, for these sets. And these are kind of cool. These got special features and everything. Now... One thing I've got my mom, and she's always, she's wanting me to find this series if I could find a TV series, but in the 19, late 70s, early 80s, there was a show called Alice working at Mel's Diner, you know, with Vic Tayback. And I'm starting to look like Vic Tayback. I'm getting bald, and, I, I you know, <clears throat> if I had my rough voice, I could probably do his voice. But before that, there was a movie from 1974 called Alice doesn't live here anymore. And I told my mom about it. It's got Flo, it's got Vic Tayback as male, and it's got the woman Alice. And it, this stars Chris Christopherson and uh, Ellen Burstein. Now, I'm not going to watch it, but my mom, you know, she probably will. Now, two of the things I picked up, and this is really goes with my die hard. I decided to get the first. I decided to get Die Hard 2, Die Harder. Yeah, that's the actual tagline, Die Harder. <laughs> um, there's a story about this, and you'll see this with a movie, that, a later movie. And I got Die Hard 3, which to me is, I know people's going to say Die Hard, the first one, is the best movie. But the third one, to me, is the best movie I feel in the whole series. It's just got everything. The whole movie is just action and him going from location to location to location, getting pulled to these locations. And I really like Die Hard with the Vengeance. Him and Samuel Jackson teaming up. And it's a shame Samuel Jackson didn't show up. I don't think he showed up in any more of the Die Hards. I haven't watched it yet. I've got the fifth one, I believe. But Die Hard 2 was on the plane, by the way. Which, I'm going to go ahead and just see how I sit now. Okay. Now, I went ahead and picked up under Siege with Steven Seagal. Yes, yeah, Steven Seagal. Uh, now, this took place on a subway. A, 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 
A submarine. What did I say, Subway? I'm going to leave that in now. I got, that's pretty funny. This took place at the Subway. And Steven Seagal had to fight them off for the ham sandwich. Uh, but, yeah, this is uh, Under Siege. It's basically on a submarine. And Steven Seagal is, you know, this movie was actually supposed to be Die Hard 2. The next movie was supposed to take place on a submarine. Well, when he heard Under Siege was coming out, taking place there, the producer said, no, no, we have to do that. We have to scrap that. So he was thinking, what can we do? And he's like, airplane. Yeah, airplane. So that's how they, that's how it happened. Uh, Under Siege caused him to go to an airplane. And uh, it's not as good as the first one, I feel, Die Hard 2 wise, wise. And I don't think the sequel to Under Siege was as good as that one. It was all good. Now, leaving, staying in the action kick, I've got a movie I've been looking for for a while. It teams up two of the 80s greatest action stars, Kurt Russell and Sylvester Stallone, Tango and Cash. Tango and Cash. I think I had a pretty good action haul. I think that's what we'll call this action haul. The action packed movies. But yeah, this movie was underrated. I mean, it's. I don't think it performed as, th as they thought it would or spawned to the franchise, but uh, there's actually rumors that they're going to try to get them to come back and do Tango and Cash again. There was actually a rumor about that. I don't know how true it is, but it'd be kind of cool. Plus, I got the I got the own that one. And finally, the last one I got, and I almost picked this one up at the Walmart a couple days ago. And I held off. I was like, nah, I might get the big set. The big set, even though I don't like the last few movies, I don't like them going to Russia, and I don't like... I don't like having Steve Gutenberg not in it. So at the pawn shop, I found Police Academy 1 through 4. And like I said, I don't like them going to, I didn't like the last few movies. It's just like the magic was gone. There was no, they was just cutting the budget and cutting so many of the extra characters. I don't think Bobcat Goathwaite shows up in it. And I really love Zed. Zed, you know, him scream, you know, him scaring the, I can't think of his name, but yeah. But this is going to be part one of the haul. This is not the whole haul. This is just going to be part one. I've got more at home, and we're going to flash to that right about now. Hey, guys, and welcome to this other part of the pawn shop pickups. And um, this one will have mostly games, but I have two movies to show. Well, one's not really a movie it's more like a wrestling but anyhow back in the 80s i used to love this christmas movie and i've been looking for this for the last two years or yeah two years whenever i go in these stores and pawn shops and thrift shops i always look for this movie and finally at a pawn shop i found it it is m and otter's jug band christmas if you're a child of the 80s, you probably remember this. Jim Henson made this, it, you know, this Christmas special. And it's really a nice, it's got nice music. And I used to have it on VHS. I think it's down in my garage. And I've watched it a million times as a kid. So I, that one I'm going to cherish. Now this next one is a wrestling one. And it's a three-disc set that they sold me for a dollar. It is, so these are all three discs. It is Falls Count Anywhere, the greatest street matches in history. And I believe on this set, there is, man, there's a ton of matches. And there's matches all the way back to 1981. Yeah. Jimmy Valiant's on this with Miss Atlanta Light. <laughs> uh, Doom and Barry, Barry Windham versus, and, Ar and Arn Anderson. Doom versus Ar Barry Windham and Arn Anderson. This is, I mean, this is like I said, this is some classic stuff. And there's a reason why you should pick up these wrestling videos is the fact that a story has come out that the WWE will no longer be putting out wrestling DVDs on video, uh, on Blu ray. Uh, the story came out that 2021 will probably be their last year doing that because streaming has become the big thing. So it's always good to get home video and uh, physical media to me. Now, 
going on to the games, I picked up a lot of good games at the pawn shop, and uh, a lot of these were just so perfect to get. And I'm going to go ahead and start off with a PlayStation 4 game. And the other day, online, CJ was telling me about a sale they was having on Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey. Well, I needed Origins. I always got Odyssey and Origins mixed up. And uh, they still have it marked up. But at the pawn shop, I actually found it. I have Assassin's Creed Origins now, which is kind of cool to get. Yeah. I, I can't wait to play it. They said the this game is really good. It has a lot of side quests, and you'll be a long time on it. Now, let's go to PlayStation 3 games. And I picked up a fair number of games, and the guy cut me a heck of a deal. I mean, such a great deal that even I'm shocked. I'm shocked at what he just... Yeah, because he told me, he said, we're just trying to get rid of these games. We've got so many of them. Just go through and get what you want real quick and I was like okay so I picked up blood drive hey guys I'm gonna go ahead and redo this again it's in, throw it off a couple hours later I was editing the video and the final part of my pawn shop haul the audio unsynced and it just looks funny so this is the last of the games I'm gonna go ahead and run them down I got blood drive which is a cool game about zombies you're killing zombies with your car and you know I love zombies I love zombie movies and I love zombie games and this is one I had to pick up at the pawn shop and the guy cut me such a heck of a great deal on all these games these PlayStation 3 games and this Xbox game and I mean he's like I couldn't believe it. he's like dude you're here you're a great person you're you always shop at our pawn shop he goes get what you want I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna pay. I, I couldn't believe the price he, he gave me. He, it, just to take all these games that you're going to see, these PlayStation 3 and this Xbox game. But I got Harry Potter, which uh, they made a couple Harry Potter games for the... Uh, uh, well, they made Lego Harry Potter. And now they've got this one. And I want this, this game because I always heard it was unique. And I like licensed games. The licensed movie games. And... Uh, that's why I've got the Hulk game and the, the Iron Man games and Thor and I'm always looking for those games. I got NCAA Football 09. I have no clue who this is. I should have really, if I, I had more change on me, I would have picked up more games because there's like five or six other games that I should have picked up while he was there. I picked up Prototype 2. And look at this price. Look at this unique price on that. How much that was. I didn't even play a fraction of this. <laughs> a fraction of this. And look how much GameStop went for this back in the day. Yeah, that's just wild. And I picked up Damage Inc. Squadrons, uh, Pacific Squadron World War II. Pretty unique game. I like flying games. I like airplane games. I've got a couple of them for the PlayStation 3 collection already. And I picked up Transformers. Revenge of the Fallen, another licensed game with the Transformers, and I just need one more Transformers game, and I think it is um, War on Cybertron, I believe that's the, the game, there's two Cybertron games, which is considered the best, and I've got one of them, so I need the other one, and finally, the big game that I picked up that shocked me, because like I said, he put this all together, he's just, get what you want, and it's got the manual and everything, it is... Dead or Alive Extreme Volleyball. Oh, yeah. Silly, uh, pixelated ladies playing volleyball. <laughs> I thought this was pretty cool to get from my Xbox collection. And it's got the manual and everything, as you can see. The only problem was is the back of the manual has a spot on it. The back of the manual part. And that's it. The rest of it, the game looks beautiful. The game disc, he cleaned the game disc and showed me. So, so yeah, that's great. And uh, I have an original OG Xbox. I have an Xbox 360. So this kind of works out for me. But yeah, this is it. This was my game haul. I'm very happy with this. I'm very happy with what I picked up at the pawn shop. But hopefully he's there again and I can talk to him. And maybe he'll cut me another deal down the line. And I can get some more great games. Because he's got a bunch I need for the PlayStation 3 and 4. I would love to go in there and get and 
do what I did last time. I just go through and just pick out a bunch of PlayStation 4 and 3 games I need. Maybe some OG Xbox or... And there, they had Turtles, but somebody had stolen the game out of the case. And I hate when that happens. It's a good thing, too. I picked it up. I was like, oh, yeah, Ninja Turtles. I heard this game is good. And somebody took the game out. And they actually put another game in the case. And I was like, ah, crap. But, hey, I'm not going to kick. I got dead or alive. So, that's good. I want to thank you for watching this video. I thank you for liking and supporting the channel. I hope you keep on playing and watching movies, folks. You know I will.